Martin Mugarraba Hinduka, the State Minister for Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, said the government has allocated 800 million shillings to develop Aru Falls in Angangura Sub County, Padeo District. He explained that the money will be made available by the Finance Ministry in the 2023 2024 financial year to uplift the face of Aru Falls to become a significant tourism site in northern Uganda. As a ministry, and tourism is uh is too big, all of us will benefit. The local governments will benefit, I want to assure you. The people in the private sector will benefit. The local people will also benefit. Now, in the next financial year, this one that is starting, we have 800 million shillings we are going to inject in Aru Falls in this coming uh, financial year. Uh, and, and, and hopefully we'll continue adding money over the years. According to the minister, the funds will be used to build walkways, roads and accommodation facilities, among other necessities, to boost tourism in and around Aru Falls. We've been there ourselves, we've seen the issues of access, the issues of safety, and we'll see how um, this money can help us resolve some of those issues. It may not be enough, but like I'm saying, at least we will start. And it's now a government policy and a ministry policy that because of the challenges we got out of COVID, we got out of, a, of, a, of a Ebola recently. That for us to have a more resilient uh, sector, this is a global approach. We should encourage uh, more of the domestic uh, travelers to travel, all the locals. So that when there is a closure and there is no movement from outside into the country, hotels should not close. People should be able to come from Kampala and travel and continue supporting the sector. The minister said the government is committed to developing domestic tourism by allocating more funds to the tourism ministry in phases until all the priorities are funded. The commitments came as the tourism ministry, joined by other sector stakeholders and social influencers, participated in the week-long tourism excursion in the northern region dubbed Explore North. Some of the prominent tourism sites in Uganda, specifically as Choli sub-region, include Fort Patiko in Gulu district, Makijan Falls National Game Park in Noya district, Aru Falls in Padir district, and Ajulu Hill, among others. However, most of these tourism sites are underdeveloped with a poor road network, poor accommodation, and limited services. Such inadequacies limit the experience of tourists and also pose safety and security risks to the visitors. In Pader, Nwoya and Gula districts, local leaders and service providers asked the government to develop tourism roads, hotels and waive taxes in a bid to boost tourism in the areas. The government should come in first to, to see that they improve like what is done in, in Maxwell now. The roads are being improved. Uh, we believe Kidepo will be improved soon so that we have not so much long hours. Uh, into these uh, when we are going to the national game parks and also where possible the tax they have started giving us red number plate eh, for our tourism vehicle but if they could but i have seen the, a few are only benefiting out of it i don't think there are very few lodges who have red number plates who have been given tax 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 free like the most most and main challenge is tax imposing if they would help us and cut off those tax costs they put on us especially with company registration then would be doing good because at the end of the day we're trying to sell Uganda as a country yeah and which Uganda that we're trying to sell as a country all the way out there and within the country itself during the explore north campaign Minister Mugarra, alongside key social figures including musician Jose Chameleon, kickboxer Moses Golola, comedian Ticha Mpamiri, among hundreds of tourism enthusiasts, visited Fort Patiku, Aru Falls and Makijan Falls National Game Park. There have been similar tourism promotion campaigns in other regions of Uganda, like the West, East and Central regions. Actually, we have to look into into community tourism, cultural, eh, so that when we come here, we don't look at only the animals. Because you go to Kenya, you see the same buffalo. You go to Tanzania, same buffalo. Now, when you come here, why don't you come and learn the, the culture? So I think this is very important. <laughs>